I might have a heart attack. <gasps> Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, you see the big announcement I'm expecting. I just wanna put a disclaimer out before I start this video. If pregnancy or anything of that nature is triggering to you, then click out, because I don't want this to be a triggering video. Um, I do wanna go deeper in depth in a different video discussing fertility issues and things of that nature. I personally didn't have that issue, but I know it can be triggering if you are having fertility issues and you're trying to get pregnant and you see other people getting pregnant. So I don't want this video to come across as bragging or anything of that nature. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick recap and then there'll be vlog clips and there's also gonna be a whole series to come. So the next video you'll see after this is me telling my husband and getting his reaction and family reactions and then I have a first trimester update coming for you. So at the end of this, it will be to be continued because you guys will see the next video after this. So if you'd like to hear my experience in my pregnancy journey, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this short because you know I talk way too much and I feel like there's so many different topics and things we can talk about. I'm just gonna give you my short experience. So in January, my husband and I celebrate our five year wedding anniversary and we had been talking for probably like a year or longer about starting to try to have a baby in January, like, you know, around the time of our five year wedding anniversary. So obviously I knew nothing about, you know, planning, trying to get pregnant, tracking your cycles. I knew nothing about any of that. When I had my checkup last year, towards the end of the year, the doctor told me, okay, try on days 10, 12, and 14 of your cycle. And then of course I had to like figure it out that day one of your cycle was the first day of your period. So I was tracking my cycle on the health app that comes on the iPhone. And then I also knew that he told me try on days 10, 12, and 14. He said, don't try every day, just try on those days. And he said, you'll be pregnant in three months. I was like, okay. Um, so he told me that I will only say it was like November, December when I had my checkup. And just for context, I was on birth control for a long time and I went off in September. I felt amazing when I came off. I was dealing with skin issues, but overall, like I felt like a new person. And then I had like another hormone I was taking to keep my skin clear, which is called spironolactone. And I stopped taking that in December because it takes four weeks to get out of your system. So when I started trying, I thought, okay, it's probably gonna take me like the rest of the year. I didn't know how long it was gonna take, but a lot of people say it could take you a year. So I wasn't expecting to get pregnant um, in the beginning at all. And I know I'm very lucky for that to happen. I thought I had more time, okay? <laughs> but apparently I don't because the baby's due before the end of the year, which we'll get into next. So I had the health app tracking the cycle. I knew the days that the doctor told me to try. And then on top of that, the health app will tell you like your fertile window, but it gives you a seven day window. So you really kind of have no clue. And then on top of it, my cycle was actually pretty regular after I came off the pill. Cause I know for some people you don't get your period for a while or it's kind of all over the place but it really had came the same time every time um, within like a day or two. Really, it was on time every day, but the last month, I believe February, um, it was just one day late. So then on top of that, I had got these little strips from Amazon, which I'll link for you below. Um, they're, I forget the term, if it's HCG, it's something like that. So basically like you pee on the little test strip and then it will tell you um, the level of the HC, I think it's called HCG. Sorry if it's not the correct word, but it tells you your level and you like basically take a photo of it and you put it into an app and then it tells you like how fertile you are. And then if you're going to ovulate, it basically says like you have 24 to 48 hours and you'll be ovulating. So I was tracking with the health app and then peeing on those and putting that into that app. And then also listening to what the doctor said about day 10, 12 and 14. Nothing was really like matching up, if that makes any sense. So like I would be ovulating according to the health app on certain days and then on the little strip it'd be another day uh, according to the strip which I thought would be the most accurate because it's coming from like my body you know what I mean not just predicting days um I was ovulating like days 15 16 17 I believe I have to double check but basically I thought oh that's weird the doctor said days 10 12 and 14 when you know I'm ovulating on these days but I don't know how science works I don't know the length of time that everything lasts we're not going to get into all that, but that's basically what I was doing to track. Um, so we started in January and I felt like I missed the window. Like I didn't think 
we like tried on the correct days. Um, and then we tried in February and then I thought, okay, maybe I got the timing correct. And then I think we tried, did we try in the March window? Oh, hi. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did try <laughs> in the March window. What are you doing? A little more than trying, my friend. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, this ain't Hello. How you doing? I am so sweating. Pretty. Thank you. I'm sweating because I had to turn off the air for the vo or for the audio. I know. My hair is oily, huh? No. <laughs> the dad, everyone. The dad. It's him. It's him. <laughs> the dad. He did that. Thanks. Welcome. You want to sit in the bed? No, I'm just saying hi. Hi. Did, did you tell them what, what's going on? I'm trying. I don't know. I'm, I'm long-winded, so I've only gotten to us tracking the cycle. Oh, okay. Well, spoiler alert. It's a... No, we did try for March. Oh, I'm going to try. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's when I got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I got the timing correct in the February window, and then for the March window... I thought that we got the timing wrong because there was like a lot of stuff going on. Um, I had like events going on and then we traveled also for my mother-in-law's birthday. So I didn't think we got the timing right, but apparently we did. So essentially I got pregnant on the third cycle that I was trying. So I tried January, I tried February, and then March was the third cycle and then that's the one I got pregnant on. So I do know that I'm very lucky to get pregnant that early. I know a lot of people, it takes them a long time, six months, a year, even longer, seven years for some people. So I'm not bragging about that. Trust me, I thought I had more time. I thought I had like, you know, toward the end of the year. So spoiler alert, the baby is due December 4th, 2022. So, <laughs> so before the end of this year, the baby will be here. So I'm not sure how much I want to get into in this video because I don't want this to be too long. Um, I have the clips are already long enough, but essentially, I was vlogging because I knew I was trying and I was tracking and I want to document my whole experience on YouTube. Number one for me and my husband to look back on and also share with other people, but just more so because I feel like when you're going through this, like you need all the help you can get. I've been watching all these YouTube videos even before I was watching to kind of see like what to expect and you know, everyone else's experience. So I just want to share everything you know I'm an overshare and I'm long-winded so I want to share every single detail I can with you guys I'm an open book I just want all of us women to you know not feel alone and then also if you are trying then you'll know what to expect and I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything by any means I don't want to spoil the clips for you so I hope that you loved being a part of that moment with me um, it's kind of like very vulnerable to share you know, um, cause you're seeing my raw reaction and yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> I don't know. It's like kind of emotional, but it's a lot. So I hope that you enjoyed sharing this moment and just know that there'll be another video up very shortly. Uh, we waited kind of a while to tell everyone there's just been so much going on in our life this whole entire year between my husband's career, my career, our personal lives, everything. There's just been so much going on. So we've waited a little while and then you know the videos are gonna come at you back to back and you guys will be very excited so I'm about to show you my reaction and I'll see you in the next video okay listen I look so crazy right now like crazy I'm so tired so I do not want to go to Target and get a test because I don't want to know I've been telling my husband that I've been on my period since Thursday night and it's Saturday afternoon. So basically I tried for the January cycle, the February cycle, and the March cycle. And the January cycle, I don't know that I know what I was doing. Like I've been tracking on an app and then also like doing the stick CP on. I think I did January wrong, <laughs> if it's possible. February, I think I tried on the correct days. And then March, I stopped early. Um, I don't know if like my ovulation was different or what. Anyways, so I went off birth control in September, but started trying in January. But since we went off birth control, even though my periods have been like so much heavier, um, 
I've still gotten them around the same time. And I thought maybe today was the latest it would come because I think I was supposed, it was like predicted on my app I would start Thursday. And I was like, oh, okay, well, it's been off by a few days. So I was going to take a test last night and I'm like, no, 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 let's just wait. Like you might start Saturday morning. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to go get it, but I'm going to go get it because I'd rather know, I think. But then at the same time, like, if I know, I have to hide it from him. And like, it's been hard enough pretending to be on my period because, you know, like as a woman, like your husband or your partner, whoever you're with, it's like, you complain, like, I'm sleepy, I'm hungry, I'm bloated, my period's so heavy, like, yeah. And then normally, well, thankfully we have separate bathrooms, but normally, like, on, when I'm on my cycle, I'll have, like, my tampons on the counter by the toilet, you know what I mean? Like, I keep them under my sink, but I'll have, like, a few on the counter, and then, like, obviously they'll be in my trash can. <laughs> so I'm like, how do I continue to hide this? and normally i get really bad cramps and like really really heavy and like sleep on a towel like the whole bit right like it, we're women here so like i can be tmi with you also like this is about having a baby so if you're watching this you're a woman and you either want to have a baby or you did have a baby and it's not offensive anyways i'm rambling i'm like really nervous i just want to take a nap i feel very tired but i'm gonna go to target and we're gonna get a test and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna take it and I don't want to say that I hope it's negative, but like I feel like I need a minute. I need some time. Yeah, I feel like I need some more time. I I would like to have been like uh, about thirty pounds less. <laughs> so we're gonna go do this. So see you when I come back. Okay, I'm just recording from my phone. <laughs> I had to slap some um, kind of money trees, <laughs> very fitting. Um, but I'm at Rite Aid and I was gonna go to Target and I just didn't wanna deal with the mall cause it's at the mall. Um, and Rite Aid has like a self checkout. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, you know, like being secretive or embarrassed. It's not like I'm like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like it's planned. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going inside though. Okay, I just got back. The lighting is so crazy. Hold on. I do not look good at all. Like, this is not how I want to find out at all. Okay, so I went to Rite Aid because I wanted to do self checkout. I didn't end up doing self checkout because. Well, first of all, I didn't know it had like a sensor on it. And then um, I saw people walking out with the thrifty cones and I was like, I need a thrifty cone. I'm not supposed to have dairy or almonds and I got milk almond fudge and not even supposed to have coffee in life, like in general. Um, but this morning I was like, I better not have an energy drink or get like a Starbucks or anything. And then I forgot I got milk almond fudge. I'm having like anxiety. <clears throat> has two tests so we'll do one I think you have to like pee in a cup dip it I, I'm about to have a heart attack hmm there's literally nowhere to put my camera up I'm gonna like move it this lighting is like so awful I'm having so much anxiety I'm literally recording this because well obviously I want to document my journey on YouTube but also I want my husband, since he's not here, because I didn't want to do it with him, I wanted to like surprise him. We talked about this before of like me surprising him. And I think I know how I want to surprise him whenever I do find out that I'm pregnant, if that's today or like months like months down the line. I think it's a little ratchet, but it's like me and it's like cute. I'm thinking of getting like the letter balloons, because if you guys know me for like every event or birthday i love getting those balloons for people um like he got like the biggest opportunity of his career in january and i got him like balloons it was like if you know you know type of moment um so my idea was like <laughs> to get those balloons and have it say like baby daddy and like have him walk in and like be recording him from two angles and like him see it and then like 
give this to him that says pregnant, you know? Like, not that I am today. Okay. 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 So, no, you don't have to put in the cup. Place the tip in your urine stream for five seconds. Replace the cap and lay test flat. Smart countdown. You're doing this with me? I'm not doing this alone. You're doing this with me? Oh, yeah, my cone is like... What a great, healthy option. I'll tell you one thing. If I am pregnant, it's like, literally the second I find out, it's smoothies, fruits, vegetables, salads, protein only. That's what I want. Like, I already need to lose weight and get healthy and get, like, my gut, my little stomach situation going. But, I wonder if a lot of pregnant women say, how they're gonna be so healthy and like give their baby nutrients but then end up eating like donuts and stuff. I just realized I'm eating an ice cream cone in my bathroom. That's kind of gross. I'm gonna go put this down. No, I'm gonna here. I don't care. I'm gonna throw it away. Okay. I don't know that this is like how I wanted to look while finding out. Like if it's negative, like no big deal. But like I'm sure. When my mom found out she was pregnant with me, she was probably like, you know, like a, like a sundress or like her hair and makeup always done. I'm looking homeless, but like, what am I supposed to do? Should I put my hair up? No, I'm overthinking it. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna hide the other one in my hair drawer in my bathroom so he won't find it. And even if the other one is positive, like I still have to hide it down there until I tell him. Oh my God. This is what it looks like. I'm literally dying right now. Wait, opening. Cap off. Okay, cap is on. Now we wait. My anxiety is through the roof. Through the roof. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I never actually thought about, like, what I'm going to do if it says I am pregnant. Obviously, if I'm not, I need to just get my life together because I'm extremely tired. I'm snacking way too much. I did work out five days this week. I just did, like, a 30-minute walk. This thing is doing, like, a countdown. I literally feel like I can't breathe. 4.15, it is 4.15 on March 26th. I might have a heart attack. <gasps> oh my God, what the f I feel like I want to tell him today how I'm supposed to hide this. I didn't. It's like. It's like I'm in shock. I don't think that that's real. I'm trying to take a photo of it. I don't. 
I, I don't actually have words. Oh my God, you know. I I knew I had that, like, I knew. I just knew. I I can't say that I was like a thousand percent sure because I almost was like, oh, you're playing yourself. Like, you're just tired. Like, first of all, I... My face is so hot right now. Like, I have to tell him today. I wonder if I can go to Party City. What time is he? Oh, my God. I've had this, like, planned in my head. Like, I've thought about it. I didn't actually think that this would happen. They're open till 8. Let me text him. I... Don't even understand. I need to tell you guys so many things right now. So many things right now. First of all, this is not sinking in. This is not making sense to me. I am in such shock. Um, but I feel like I knew. Like, I felt like I knew last night. I said, how long do you think you'll be there? He said, Lord knows. Like, should I go, like, buy a, a book or something at Nordstrom or, like, and give it to him like that and not be ratchet with the balloons? But, like, you know when you have an idea in your head for so long? But it's like, is that even, like, cute? Is that... I don't... I don't understand this. Look at I wish I would have been cuter, like, cute as F in, like, hair done, makeup done. I am sweating. So the story I'm trying to get to is... First of all, I knew I was in nesting mode this week. I knew I was in nesting mode. How are you in nesting mode before you even know? I know that I'm OCD and I like to plan, but like, let me tell you, like, I was like, I want new vibes, new energy. Um, I want to organize. Like, I went through my dresser, my closet. I got rid of stuff. I was like in nesting mode. Anyways, last night I checked my health app before I went to bed, and I was like, uh, looking at the dates I've gotten my period, you know, and dude, I knew I had been lunching too much, like little chicks mix, like eating, like a little rat. Anyways, I was checking my health app last night. This is not real. I want to just like cuss, like cuss, like cuss. This is not real. Holy, listen, I think this means I'm having the baby in December. We're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves, but you know I'm over planner. I've already been thinking about this. By the time this goes up, you'll, it, it won't be a secret, I hope. Um, that, okay, 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 okay. I mean, if I'm, okay, the reason last night I knew, I looked at my health app and I was like, oh, maybe I'll start in the morning. If I don't start in the morning, I'll take a test. Right before I went to bed, I said, Mom, you guys have been knowing my mom passed away when I was 20, okay? I said, Mom, and I don't talk to her often because it's like, that's a whole other story. But I said, Mom, if I'm pregnant, visit me in my dreams. And she came in my dream. It wasn't about anything about pregnancy, but she was like in the car. She was driving. I was in the passenger and like we barely had words. And I was like, shit, I'm pregnant. Like, when I woke up from that. Like, she wouldn't just come in my dream, you know? Like, if I asked, I don't know if that's how it works. But, um. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um. I mean, I guess if you try, this is what you get, right? I mean, not really. We're going to have a whole combo about infertility and what women go through and all that. We're going to have a combo because I know that I am blessed to be able to get pregnant. I'm thinking I'll save the second one to do with him to like confirm. But I want to tell him first. And I want it to be cute. Like, 
I want to look cute. I feel like I need to just put on some makeup and just like, just do my hair a little bit, put on something cuter than like my workout clothes from this morning. Okay, so then it was that dream and I woke up. Then I woke up from another dream and as I woke up, it was a baby crying. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm pregnant. But you know, like you second guess yourself and you're like, you're not pregnant. I, I don't know what to do right now. I'm trying to make sure my phone's not connecting to him. Um, what do we do, guys? What do we do? Do we overthink it and like talk about our due date? I think it's December because this means I had to have gotten pregnant around March 12th, the day before my mother-in-law's birthday because that's how I'm clocking it. I had an event on March 12th, uh, the Ulta Fenty event, and we didn't try that day. So it was like the days before. So if that's me, uh, 40 weeks would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. 38, 39, 40. <laughs> Literally, somewhere around, I believe, December 15th through 17th. I, I, I gotta, I, I gotta figure, I, I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know what's going on. Do not. My fan her turn on the bathroom. What should I do, guys? What should I do, guys? Do we go to Party City? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't understand. Let me take more photos. Like, does this thing disappear? Does it stay, like, staying pregnant? Let's put this away for a second. Just in case. Because sometimes he likes, like, surprising me and coming home early from work. Hold on. Okay, I put it like behind the drawer. Let's go in the other room. Let's throw away also this ice cream cone because we don't know her. I am in shock and I am talking. Hold on, it's dark. I'm talking to you because um, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared out of my mind. First of all, I look crazy. Like, look at my skin. My skin's been breaking out. Oh, I hope my skin gets clear. Okay. I'm literally dying right now. Sorry for the mess. Like, that's a whole other thing. I told you I've been, like, purging everything. Let me put my camera down right here so we can breathe. Okay. He has a warrior blanket. Okay. Okay, listen. <sighs> 